All right, so here's Svetlana, and uh, we've got our camo on. You'll notice that there are, you've got six torpedoes aside, and they're mostly in the aft and mid sections of the ship. So let's go ahead and put the HUD back on, and look in the lower left. You'll notice something rather quickly. This has an absurd amount of guns. Um, you've got about eight guns per side. And our max firing range is 11.3 kilometers when fully upgraded. So, a lot of the enemies are out of range right here. There's the Bogatir, or Bowguider. And he looks like he's uh, running as everyone masses on that flank. It looks like in our team's just kind of clustering up in the middle. But we do have a tier 4 game. And as a tier 4 cruiser, I'm feeling, you know, like the chances are fairly decent that we're going to have a good time. Now, our torpedoes are one of the reasons why um, I'm really interested to play the Svetlana. And that's because they've got a max firing range of 5 kilometers, which is fairly decent. It's not Japanese by any stretch of the imagination. But um, for this tier, I think it's decent. Well, hello there. Yeah, and this is a Svetlana party. There's uh, 8 of us total, I believe. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, yep, 8. And good old Carl over here. So we've got a few ships, but the ability, the ability, the ability here to fire on both sides of your ship is promising. So we're gonna go over here and kind of look to poach some of these ships here. Um, Saint Louis is also a ship that's kind of similar to the Svetlana in terms of how many guns it has per side. There's only three destroyers total in this game. And uh, that would be fun. I love I love destroyers because I love torpedoes. But the Svetlana here is like the St. Louis with torpedoes in terms of number of guns. Now, as far as quality of guns is concerned, you know, who knows. This guy's almost in range, so let's see how many guns we can get to bear on him. Just gonna... Let's see how far. We've got 130 millimeters. We managed a few hits, but he's kind of angling himself, and we're firing AP. This is mostly trying to poach, but he got wrecked. Let's see, another Svetlana. Let's turn around this guy here. Oh yeah, we've got a broadside here, so there's a possibility for Citadels. He's about 10 kilometers out. We're going to keep ourselves angled. Oh, there we go. We got a hit to the Citadel right there. Perfect. Going to fire low, try to get near the water line. We don't want to hit the superstructure with AP. There's another hit to the Citadel. But that's what happens when a Svetlana like this guy is just presenting us with just such a juicy opportunity. We're going to get any more? Doesn't look like it. But now we can we can slowly start turning and use our other guns here. Can we finish her off? Or will our teammates do it? Ooh, that looked like a pretty good salvo. Looks like this might be ours. No. It was not. Clemson, I think, finished her off. So let's see. Collision alarms are going. We got this beautiful island. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be fun to ski on this thing, man? Torpedoes, where's that from? Uh, ooh, Isokaze. Alright, let's see what we've got. So we've got this St. Louis here, which I think we could take, especially given that it's got 14,000 hit points left, and we're still fully operable at our max hit points of 24,600. No enemies. What is... Oh, look at that. That guy just went down. All right, let's see where he's hiding behind this little island here. So we will have an opportunity. Our citadel will be presented unless we angle ourselves. But so will theirs. Clemson is screening us against that Isokaze. That's also very good. All right, here we go. Here is the opportunity. Firing mass AP rounds. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. 
Yeah, see the ones in the rear. Oh, he's turning away. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes astern. All right. Let's see if we're gonna be able to get Isokaze. We still got AP loaded up. Could have switched over to HE probably in that exchange, and that guy is taken down for the count. So now all the enemies are on the far side. We've got 30 hits. Ooh. Was that friendly torpedoes that did that? Yeah. Judging by the WTF mate in the chat. Let's see. Yeah, the entire enemy fleet, or what is left of it rather, is on the other side. We've got a Wyoming class battleship. 43,800 hit points. So, first impressions of Svetlana is, um, I mean, we did get some, let's see, Citadel shots. We've got a ton of guns. I was kind of expecting for a few more, especially, I think I aimed a little too high on the St. Louis. Look at this Wyoming just ranging us. And the Svetlana here. I could go in with Bogatir. Miyogi's just going on a kamikaze run. So, the targets of opportunity are definitely this Wyoming and Svetlana. Alright, this guy's almost in range. Let's, let's hit some citadels. And just slight movements should allow us to get more guns in range. There we go. Oh, an incapacitation. I thought it was a chance. And then we can rotate and just kind of switch between targets here. Oh, what is this? Another Svetlana? Just kind of pick between these targets here. And rotate back just a little bit. Might want to switch to HE soon. But I'm going to keep myself narrow and going after the enemy. Some hits. Well, this is a dangerous situation to be in, isn't it? Should work. A25, 271. Unfortunate. We've been doing the damage, but we have not. Oh, you know what? Our team is the lead. Now we're going to curve towards him. Cut throttle. Oh, yeah. We're presenting ourselves. He's... Here we go. Look at those torpedoes in the water. Hopefully one of them hits, right? Oh, we're... Wow. Come on. Get us some guns. Unbelievable! <laughs> Alright, we've got a... We can definitely hit this guy. Oh, he's going. Set him on fire, because we switched to HE. That guy's distracted. We're going to go for a torpedo run here. And we want to hit the superstructure of these HEs. Start some fires. I've got torpedoes, friend. Oh, man. That's it. We need to worry about the positioning of our ship more than anything else. All those rear ones, though, huh? Actually, you know what? Let's do a full loop. He's got fires. The torpedoes are missing. Oh, man, yeah. We got rocked right there. If he hits us with a broadside right now, we're pretty much done. Oh my gosh, yeah. But let's see if our torpedoes can hit him from the grave. He's the last ship. At five kilometers. Let's get some hits. There's one. 
Oh, not enough, ladies and gentlemen. So we definitely could have played that last instance. We got a little hungry. We got a little thirsty. And as a result, we are sinking to the bottom right now. But... Two citadels, fire started, some torpedo hits. Honestly, the issue there was that first salvo of torpedoes was just ineffective, quite frankly. Man, we're going to have to see if we did some good damage at the end or if firing AP was just foolish for the majority of that battle. All right, so we actually performed rather admirably in terms of damage done. So 99 hits, one hit away from getting that 100 hit game. We got three torpedo hits and these two floods plus two citadels and only two fires. All that being said, um, I would have hoped for maybe four citadels and like four or five fires with how many times we fired. But you can see here, we were up here. This guy did pretty good with three kills. But there was a lot of times where we just didn't really maybe time the shooting. We were definitely focusing on a more damage approach. But our team was victorious. We did an honorable last stand. 17,000 damage from 56 armor piercing hits. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's really too great. 10,000 hits, or <laughs> 10,000 hits, 10,000 damage from 45 he hits and then fires only did 447 residual damage however the flooding did some work so you know that um where was he this wyoming here that we were just hammering well with our fire and our torpedoes definitely did um 15 000 residual damage about and then the torpedoes on top of the about 14, 15 ish thousand from the three torpedo hits themselves. So that's some pretty good damage we did on the Wyoming, but we weren't able to take them down. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm a fan of the Svitlana so far. Like my initial impressions are is it, it would be a fun ship because it is a like, let's look at this. Like, the amount of guns you have on this thing are just wildly impressive in terms of number. You have 15 total guns, and you can manage 18 shots per side. Wow. Definitely misspoke there. Eight guns able to fire per side. The torpedo orientation is set up so that you can, once you get in close, like, um, to use your rear torpedoes here, like when looking in the back, like you saw how you fire from the middle ones first and then you'll fire from the rear ones so you can really make yourself vulnerable in presenting yourself as a nice oh please shoot me in the citadel um when you're trying to get those to hit because they don't like when dealing with targets in the forward you know third i guess you'd say so you got to account for that um but other than that man like it's it's a fun ship and it's fun how I think that's what's one of the interesting things about just naval architecture in general in this game is how things like that can affect it, right? And you saw when we were going after a target, like look at how these guns are set up. You've got one here, one there, one there, and one there, and then like one there. So just like slowly angling yourself this way, and then that way you can have these pretty good salvos from the front. So this is a ship that is pretty, I think, is fairly decent at running down enemy ships and getting a number of guns on target and able to fire just from slight, you know, kind of zigzagging. Ba -ba 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 boom ba -ba 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 boom you know, and just keep doing like that. Torpedo, so that's kind of cool how the structure of the ship definitely lends itself to running down enemy ships, but how the uh, torpedoes in the rear section... If you want to get more than three torpedoes on target, you kind of have to expose yourself a little more. Look at this Russian flag. It's like a rising sun almost. Pretty cool. Anyway, so we got Ivan Radionov with one more Admiral point from our admirable performance. And um, let's take a look at the modules for this baby. Look at the stats, right? So survivability, we saw that it had 24,600 hit points. Armor maximum at 75 millimeters your main battery um 
is 15 130 millimeter main guns with a firing range of 11.3 kilometers. You've got six torpedoes a side and two triple tubes per side with a torpedo range of five kilometers, which is fairly decent. Nothing to write home about, but also you can factor in your torpedoes a little more when, you know, like that battleship. I was like, I wanna, I wanna sink this battleship. And I should have, but my first salvos of torpedoes were shit. So maneuverability rating of 55, maximum speed of 29 knots, turning circle radius of 590 meters and a rudder shift time of 7.2 seconds. And surface detectability range um, just under 10 kilometers and air detectability range is six kilometers. So ladies and gentlemen, this was the Svetlana. Let's go ahead and look at all of the new Russian cruisers that are out for everybody as of the new patch of 0.54. We've got the Novik, the Bogatir, or Bogaiter, the Svetlana, Kirov we've played. If you haven't seen Kirov reporting, I had a lot of fun editing that. People are big fans of the music selection and the uh, intro, intro to that video. So check it out. So we've played, let's see what we've played. We've played Kirov. We just played Svetlana now. And, you know, I've played Orlan a long time ago. So we've got Novik, Bogaiter, um, Budioni, Skors, Chapaev. Dmitry Donskoy and the Moscow tier 10. So let me know which ship you would like me to sail out next as far as the Russian cruisers are involved. Maybe after one or two more Russian cruisers, we'll open up the request series to all ships from all nations. But right now, as Russian cruisers are kind of, or they definitely are new, and they're the newest tech tree in the game, I'd like to cover those a little more. So let me know which ones you'd like to see. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's was first impressions my very first game of the Svetlana and I thought that as far as damage action was concerned it was a pretty good game uh, we definitely could have done better on those that last torpedo run we could have sank a few more ships if we had our timing but I've been away for a few days so you know how you got to warm up but like that was going in cold with a Svetlana so you know it was fun it's a fun ship and I think running down enemy ships is pretty good um, and I think the main detractor or one of the biggest cons at least for my play style Which is obviously overly aggressive <laughs> Damn the torpedoes man is uh, That the torpedoes are in this aft section kind of cut away from the firing arc And you're gonna have to kind of further expose yourself to the enemy and allow yourself Maybe a few more opportunities to get citadeled just to try to get those torpedoes in but you know, so torpedoes are kind of an afterthought, at least for the second uh, salvo per side. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know which Russian cruiser you'd like to see next in the comments below, and I'll see you soon.